Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first day of Hankathon. Um, what is Hankathon? It's where all of us are going to read my Hank books together ish. So, what we have here today is we're going to do Dead Dame on the Floor. Um, <clears throat> now, this isn't the first Hank Bradshaw book I wrote, but it is the first, I guess the best way to put it is it's kind of like the, the prequel to what we get into. And what I mean by this is, is that I started working on the first Hank book, which was, um, Dead Dame Walking. I think in 2016 and it was a fairly easy write. Like I was just doing it and doing it and doing it. Everything was fine. And then, um, about halfway through, I started getting ideas for little bits that I thought were really, really cool, but they didn't really fit into the book I was writing. So I was like, well, let me kind of dive into this a little bit more and see if any of this um, helps me kind of figure Hank, Hank's character out, you know. So um, the code was written kind of in the middle, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> it was written in the middle of um, Dead Dame Walking. And um, the code is the first short story in the Dead Dame on the Floor book. I ended up putting it out um, before Dead Dame Walking came out. Just to try to get people to understand his character, his motivations, all the stuff like that. So in the code, um, and that's the other thing that's really fun about writing short stories is that, and you could do this with novels too, and I try to, but it doesn't have the same impact as it does with a short story. But in a short story, you could just drop the reader into the middle of action and um, tell the story around it like that. So um, Hank is kind of going through this like internal monologue of all the shit that he's had to do tonight. He's um, chasing this kid around town um, and Hank has pretty much already decided that um, he's going to kill this kid <clears throat> for a crime that um, the kid had committed. Um but there are certain ways he has to go about doing things because he's not a cop. He's a private investigator, um, a private detective. Um, he can't just go around and start shooting people for no reason. So the story is basically the conversation that Hank has with this kid while they're at a standoff standstill each pointing a gun at the other. So that story, to me, is probably the one that shows the most of, like, the justice Hank wants to put out. Like, what he feels. And I feel it's um, very reminiscent of Mike Hammer. Um, and, like, the Mickey Spillane hard-boiled detective. Now, um, the rest of these stories, to me, feel kind of more lighthearted. But I know that they're kind of not. But some of them are. So, for instance, with Dead Dame on the Floor, that story is about Hank getting a call from a girl that he, over the years, has spent time with if you catch my drift and she's freaking out um she's in a panic so he rushes over there and when he gets there she's dead so in the time he 
hung up the phone and went to her place. Someone had killed her. And so he's kind of like going through the house looking for clues as to what had brought this upon her. Like, what did she do? Like, what kind of trouble was she in to get herself in this kind of situation? And as he's looking for clues through her apartment, he's having um, these memories of time, times that he spent inside the apartment with her. <clears throat> and so it keeps going back and forth and back and forth between, like him noticing something that over here doesn't look right and then noticing um, the chair that he sat in when this one thing happened and then going back here and finding things that are a bit out of whack Um, and then he finds something really really interesting and um, we have a climax Um, and so there's that Um, trying to think what other stories are in here and all of the rest of them i wrote after um dead dame walking and in fact i don't know if i thought i was gonna write another hank novel like i thought i was honestly just gonna write um short stories for the rest of hank's existence um because there is and i've talked about this before Between the short story side of Hank and the novel side of Hank are, they're almost like two completely different people. And um, it's really, not that they, like, not when you read it you go, oh, this character doesn't sound anything like this character. But the way the... um, structure of the story is it lends itself more to like in the books Hank is investigating some sort of crime so um, there's a lot more people talking to him there's a lot more interaction Um, he's having to read people more he's trying to get to the bottom of things whereas in the short stories the um the whole point of view of it is so much more internal and how the um, stories play out. It's way more inside his head looking out than things happening around him at him. If you get what I'm saying. So then we have stories like um, the cigarette, um, which is, It starts off where he finally gets to the roof of this penthouse. Or not the roof, but the penthouse of this building. To this, like, crime lord. And, um... They sit down and have a drink. Because Hank's beat as fuck. Because he just beat the shit out of a bunch of people. Trying to get to find out where this guy was. And now that he found him, he wants to fuck him up. But at the same time, he needs a break. And he would like a cigarette, and he would like to have a drink. And they just sit there and talk back and forth before the big climactic um, battle. Um, And then there's uh, Angel, which is somebody comes with a missing person. Um, They want him to find her. And um, so, and this starts off with him... um, like his arms tied up above his head and he's getting the shit beat out of him. Um, and then he's like kind of backtracking of how he ended up in this situation kind of thing. And then there's, um, a story called Susie side, which is a really weird, it, it almost seems more like it was a, it was kind of a good idea, but I don't know how it plays. I think it plays okay, but you might not. But basically, a father who is worried about his um, daughter committing suicide hires Hank to um, watch her for a night. And um, I'll leave that one at that. And then... um, 
yeah, so there's just, there's some stories in there. I feel like I'm forgetting one off the top of my head here. But. And I did, I did forget something. So this is me in the future coming back to me in the past. But by the time you watch this, all of this will be past. But um, the Purple Orchid, um, it's actually one of my favorite um, stories in this whole thing. <clears throat> and it actually, I think it has more feeling than, um, it has the most feeling, let's say, than the other stories in here. And um, in this one, Hank is um, strangling somebody. He's in a tussle with a perp. And he's strangling him. And as he is choking the life out of this guy, the guy's tongue comes out. And it's purple. And the way it lays and the color of it reminds him of an orchid that um, we'll say reminds him of a past love and um, so while he's like kind of fighting for his life he starts having this like weird like what could have been with this um, woman he was in love with and um, things like that. I don't know. It, like, I really, I dig the feeling and the juxtaposition of him dying to a better time in his life and how he could never keep orchids alive and, um, just how much of a struggle it was as he couldn't keep the orchid alive and he's trying to now kill the orchid that he has in his hand kind of thing. It's a, it's a, it's a really fun story for me. But basically, this collection is just a really good way to get to know who Hank is. And I feel like if you go into the novels with the information you get from these short stories, um, they the, the novels read so much richer and like yes that probably is a um knock on my ability to write a novel but at the same time i think the more time you spend with a character the more you see that character grow and the more attached you become to that character so it's probably in all mediums that that happens but Anyway, so that's Dead Dame on the Floor. Um, there will be a link to um, Hank Books down below. Um, and you could find it and pick it up. And I really hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please leave a review for it on Amazon. Um, and if you purchase any of my books, um, the reviews are really important. So um, if you haven't left a review for my work um, on Etsy or Amazon, um, I would love it if you could leave a review for it um comment down below on which ones you read which ones if you've read this which what story in it have, did you like the best like what's your favorite um short out of these stories here so until next time guys i'll talk to you later Bye bye